Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be, or I should say, I'm gonna be cooking some brisket. Jade can show you what we have so far, cause that's about all she's gonna be able to do. As KJ said, I can't cook. So I'm gonna do a haul and show you what KJ got from the shops for this meal. You guys really enjoyed the last cooking video, so we thought we'd do another one. First off, we have a bag of carrots, two red onions, these massive garlic cloves. Locally sourced. Locally sourced. Thyme and rosemary. Rosemary? Rosemary. 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 Two tins of finely crushed tomatoes. Natural bone broth. This is Australian grass-fed beef. 19 crimes red wine Aww. this is shiraz and this is i can't say, say it. It. come on say it <laughs> cabernet Sav savion yeah that's that's basically it yeah and then of course we have a massive piece of meat it doesn't fit in our slow cooker so kj will have to cut it or something i don't know you'll see all right so I have to split this because obviously it's a lengthy piece of meat. I'm just going to split it about here so that the remaining piece is still kind of small enough that I can hide it. My knife could also use a little bit of a sharpen, but that was still pretty satisfying, I reckon. So now I'm going to clean the board so I can prep the rest of it, all right? And all right, so now my board's clean, as you can see. I'm going to wash a couple of these carrots up. All right, now we've got our carrots all washed and ready. Now it's time to chop them. Now we'll go on to our onion. Now we're gonna go on to our garlic. I've got a really good one of those things we were doing last night. Yeah. So she's a 10, but she constantly asks if you would still love her if she was a worm. <laughs> 11 okay so now that that's done that's um we're almost ready we just gotta brown our meat and um i'm gonna ship some veggies around i want to mention just a few things that i think people might bring up which is the fact that there is gonna be like no seasoning on the meat if you don't know i have crones i mentioned it in like every single did you just fart I'm not cutting it out. I've got Crohn's disease, which I talk about in like every single video, but I can't have a lot of spices. So yeah, even like the onion and the garlic that are going in here, I seem to be okay with garlic, but the onion I will be picking out. So I'm pretty sure the only thing that is going on there that I can have is like salt, possibly pepper. just rang the doorbell so KJ just ran out to go and get the parcel but everything is in the pot and ready so we will see you in six hours okay so in the last like six hours KJ has had like the most intense migraine he's been sleeping the entire time but he just got up <laughs> this is how it's looking so far yum we're gonna add some beans and KJ's gonna make some mash as well. It's got about, about an hour left. That's a heat pack around his neck, by the way. Anyway, see you when it's done. So we're back. 
Well, you guys have been away. As you heard earlier, I had a little bit of a migraine all day. A little I, bit. I, I, came, I, came, I came to a little bit, so I've got the mash done. So we're going to go mash in the bowl. And I jumped the gun a little bit. So I've been over here and I took it out. We did cook on high for six hours. It was always going to be a cut. And um, yeah, but you can see that that's Yummy. got a lot of moisture in it. Sheesh. Good soup. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you please explain what is in the mash? Because I have a feeling people are going to be like, it looks so boring. I just make my mash with salt and butter. But it's not butter. But it's not butter. We use Nutilex. And just a little bit of oat milk. Let me see if you make mash. Usually you use milk. I don't always use milk. This is another one of those things where I can't eat anything. So that's why it's so like bland. But it's the best we can do. And I promise you it tastes amazing. Come down to my level. Let's down try at, it. I'm down at Jade's level now. Okay. Not bad. So good. Basically just served it like a soupy stew in a um in a bowl of mashed potato. Really good. Yeah, no, I'm pretty impressed with it. Pretty good. Good hustle. As you can see, I did a really good job at making dinner. It took me the whole six hours. But um yeah, um I hope you guys enjoyed watching <laughs> watching me cook and watching Jade film. If you liked it, let us know because we'll do more cooking videos with other things. Maybe baking next time, because you're good at baking. I suck at baking. Mm, I don't know. She's being coy, she's being modest, she's good at baking. She we'll likes to herself. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.